In this video, we solve problem 11.4.027 from the Larson and Edwards Calculus Early Transcendental Functions text, seventh edition. We're told that the brakes on a bicycle are applied using a downward force with magnitude 20 pounds on a pedal when the crank makes an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal. Then it says, see the figure. And what I didn't draw here is that there was like a, a child's foot on a pedal right here with pushing straight down. And this was a crank that was on a wheel. Um, but I drew the rest, I drew the important parts for our picture. And the question says, the crank is six inches in length, find the torque at P, and then it asks us to round to two decimal places. Now torque is actually a vector, but what they are really asking for here, what WebAssign wants is the magnitude of the torque. So the magnitude of the torque um, is the magnitude of this cross product of um, r with f where r is the length of that moment or the vector um, for that moment arm and f is that force that's being applied and um, the magnitude of a cross product is given by the magnitude of the first vector times the magnitude of the second vector times the sine of the angle between them now if this is my angle or if this is 40 degrees right here and this force is being applied here, in order to find the angle between them, I actually have to draw this force somewhere else. So I have to sort of pick up this vector and put it down here. In that case, I can see that the angle between these two vectors is actually 130 degrees. It's at 40 degrees plus 90. So um, we have the length of R times the length or the magnitude of the um, force vector times the sine of the angle between them. And I don't know if you saw this. Well, I guess you didn't see this. If you look at the answer on WebAssign, they give you a little box. And next to the little box, I believe it says foot pounds. So they actually don't want us to use these six inches. They want us to change those six inches to feet first. So we just use um, dimensional analysis from chemistry. There are 12 inches in one foot. We multiply like that so that the inches reduce. That means uh, six inches is equal to one half of a foot. Or if you prefer, you can use 0.5 feet. So we have 0.5 times the magnitude of the force, which was 20, times the sine of the angle between them, which is 130 degrees. So we end up with 10 times the sine of 130 degrees. And they wanted us to round to two decimal places. So I do 10 sine of 30 or 130 excuse me i'm already in degree mode on my calculator and i get about 7.66 foot pounds it's that easy that's my answer